Marple Annex 1 Simplified The International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships, Marple, Annex 1, which entered into force in 1983, applies to all ships of 400 gross tons and above and all oil tankers of 150 gross tons and above to prevent pollution by oil from ships. The regulations cover construction and equipment requirements, example, oil filtering equipment, segregated ballast tanks, operational discharge criteria, limits on oil content in discharges, documentation and certification, IOPP certificate, oil record book, survey and inspection regimes. Two, purpose of Marple Annex One, to prevent oil pollution from operational discharges and accidental spills, to set strict discharge limits for oil contaminated water, to mandate oil pollution prevention equipment, oily water separators, oil discharge monitoring systems, to ensure proper record keeping, oil record book for accountability, to enforce compliance through surveys and certification. Three, discharge criteria for oil under Marple Annex 1. For engine room oil residues, oil content in effluent must not exceed 15 ppm. Discharge prohibited in special areas, e.g. Baltic Sea, Mediterranean. Oily water separator, OWS, must be used for bilge water treatment. Four cargo residues from oil tankers. Discharge prohibited within 50 nautical miles from the nearest land. Oil discharge monitoring equipment, ODME, discharges only though approved ODME. Instantaneous discharge rate less than 30 liters per nautical mile. Total quantity discharged less than 1 30th, 000 of cargo capacity. Slop tanks must be used for retained residues. 4. Standard discharge connection, Regulation 13. To facilitate the transfer of oily wastes from ships to port reception facilities, Marple Annex 1 mandates a standard discharge connection. Flange dimensions, outer diameter, 215 mm, bolt circle diameter, 183 mm, slots and flange, 6 holes, 22 mm diameter, material, steel or equivalent, pressure rating, 6 bar minimum. 5. Documents and Certificates Required Under Marple Annex 1 A. International Oil Pollution Prevention, IOPP, Certificate Issued after compliance with surveys Valid for five years, subject to intermediate and annual surveys Contains Form A for non-tankers or Form B for tankers B. Oil Record Book, War B Part 1, Machinery Space Operations and Part 2, Cargo Slash Ballast Operations for Tankers Part 1. Records Machinery Space Bilge Discharges, Sludge Disposal and Bunkering. Part 2. Records Cargo Slash Ballast Operations, Tank Washing and Crude Oil Washing, Cow. Must be retained for three years after the last entry. C. Shipboard Oil Pollution Emergency Plan, SOPEP, or SMPP, for tankers greater than 150 GT. Outlines Procedures for Oil Spill Response. Includes contact details of authorities and spill response coordinators. D. Crude oil washing manual for tankers with cow systems describes procedures for tank cleaning using crude oil. E. Oil monitoring and control system manual. Details the operation of the 15 ppm oil filtering equipment and oil discharge monitoring and control system, ODMCS. 6. Surveys and certification under Marple Annex 1. A. Initial survey. Conducted before issuing the IOPP certificate. B. Annual survey. Conducted within three months before or after the anniversary date. C. Intermediate survey. Conducted between the second and third anniversary dates. D. Renewal survey. Conducted every five years before certificate expiry. E. Additional surveys, as required after major modifications or repairs affecting pollution prevention. 7. IOPP Certificate Forms A and B Form A for Non-Tankers Section 1 Ship Particulars Name IMO Number GT Section 2 Equipment for Oil Discharge Monitoring 15 ppm Alarm Automatic Stopping Device Section 3 Oily Water Separator and Filtering Equipment Details Section 4 Sludge Tank Capacity Section 5 Standard Discharge Connection Compliance Additional items in Form B, 
for tankers segregated ballast tanks, SBT, and double hull compliance, crude oil washing, cow system details if fitted, ODMS specifications, slop tank arrangements. 8. Shipboard Oil Pollution Emergency Plan, SOPEP, is a mandatory document for all oil-carrying vessels over 150 GT and other ships over 400 GT, as required by MARPLE Annex 1, Regulation 37. The SOPEP outlines procedures to follow in case of an oil spill to minimize pollution and comply with international regulations. Key Records and Plans in SOPEP 1. General Information Ship particulars such as name, IMO number, flag, port of registry, owner-slash-operator details, and SOPEP approval and revision history. 2. Reporting procedures. Contact details of local coastal state authorities, flag state, company's designated person ashore, DPA. 3. Steps to control discharge. Immediate actions, containment and recovery, mitigation measures. 4. Coordination and communication plan. 5. Record-keeping and documentation. 6. Additional resources and annexes, ship's layout and tank diagrams to identify spill sources, list of SOPEP equipment on board, location and quantity, national and regional contact lists for each port of call. The SOPEP must be vessel-specific, not generic. Crew must be trained in spill response procedures and regular drills must be conducted. The plan should be updated if ship operations or regulations change. Thank you for watching the video. For more marine topics, please subscribe the channel. Please help us with your valuable feedback to improve the contents.